Hello everybody, I'm Benjamin LaChapelle, and I'm going to teach you how to draw animals from A to Z. Today is the letter B. B is for beluga. The beluga is a whale, also known as the white whale. The beluga is the cutest whale seen in century. B is for babaruska. The babaruska lives in Asia and has four types of tusk on each side. The babaruska is found in India. To draw babaruska, it needs a tail of a cow. B is for barbada sheep. To draw a barbada sheep, it has to be shaggy all over. The barbado sheep has to have a curly horn. And a nose, just like that. It needs to have hooves. B is for blue sheep. The blue sheep is also known as the pajero. The blue sheep can live in the Himalayans. Blue sheep are not blue, but they are brown. The blue sheep can climb and escape snow leopards. B is for bonobo. The bonobo is a, also a pygmy chimpanzee. The bonobo is endangered. The bonobo is highly at risk. I think it's called bonobo. Good. The bonobo, it's called, it squeaks, not gibbers like other chimpanzees. B is for the bongo antelope. This casual antelope is from Africa. This antelope lives in the Congos. This antelope has strange stripes. B is also for the bear cat, also known as the binturong. To draw binturong, it needs shaggy ears. B is for brolga. The brolga is also known as the Australian crane. The brolga needs a waddle over here, and of course, it needs strong legs and a tail. The brolga is quite clever and can catch many escaping animals. B is for the bobcat. The bobcat lives in the desert. The bobcat is very smart and cunning as a fox. To draw a bobcat, its mane is pointed down. The bobcat needs some antennas on the ears, on the point on the tip of his ears, and spots. And last but not least, B is also for the bentang, a domesticated species of cattle. This was raised on a farm. To draw bentang, it must look different as a cow. It needs white legs. Now that is all to draw all the animals with the letter B. See you later.